In this presentation, we will take a look at the different options for purchasing QuickBooks using the desktop version. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. When thinking about purchasing QuickBooks, we really want to think about two tiers, two levels in the decision-making process. One being, do we want to purchase the desktop version or the online version? Once we make that decision, if we're then choosing between the desktop versions, then there's a few different options we have within the desktop versions, those being QuickBooks Pro, QuickBooks Premier, and QuickBooks Enterprise. Each of those have some more details in terms of uh, specifics and options within them. We'll talk about a broad overview of these three now. We're currently at the QuickBooks website, at the Intuit website for QuickBooks, where they show a comparison between these three versions. So we're choosing the uh, QuickBooks desktop product. So if we look at that, if you Google search that, you should be able to find this page and you can do some comparing and contrasting in terms of the current prices and uh, the options and features between the three. Now we have the Pro, the Premier, and the Enterprise. For the desktop version, QuickBooks Pro is going to be most common and going to be able to suit most people's needs for uh, the use of the accounting software. In other words, the QuickBooks Pro, although it's going to be the first level within the desktop versions, is really a complete accounting software. And we typically move to Premier when we have some industry specifications, so they're going to have some specialties for certain industries. And then we can move to enterprise oftentimes when we have a lot of data. If we're talking about larger companies, then we're typically going to need some of the specializations that would be in the enterprise. So we typically are going to be looking at QuickBooks Pro as a format that's going to have most of what we need. If we go through our list, we can see that the new 2019 features will be available on all three of uh, the packages. We got the track income and expenses. That's going to be the fundamental items that we are going to be doing, uh, entering the data into the QuickBooks system. All three will be tracking income and expenses. Invoicing is going to be one of the primary type of functions that we're going to have. And a lot of small companies, of course, uh, one of the primary things they want within QuickBooks is the ability to invoice and track the invoicing. And that's going to be within all uh, three of the packages. We're going to be able to run reports. And like I say, QuickBooks Pro is going to have all the reports we typically need and think about. We'll have the financial statements, the profit and loss or income statement, the balance sheet uh, within the system here. And so most of the reports that we consider when running reports and making financial statements will be included in QuickBooks Pro. If we need some advanced reportings, uh, typically which would be company or industry specific, then that's when we might want to go to another system or another software to get to the enterprise format to get that uh, advance. Uh, send estimates, so if we're estimating things like jobs and whatnot, we can do those in QuickBooks Pro as well. Uh, if we have advanced pricing, then of course, then the enterprise. Track the sales tax, uh, which is important to do, of course, and that's gonna be very helpful. And again, the, the Pro does that, and sales tax could be different by region. So wherever we are at, uh, in, if we're in the United States, all, all the different areas in the United States could have different uh, sales tax or use tax, and QuickBooks can uh, locate where we're, where, where, or be able to calculate the sales tax and add that into the, uh, to the invoices. Uh, manage bills and accounts payable. It's going to be in all, in all three, so we're going to be able to track, in other words, the uh, accounts payable account by vendor who we owe money to in any of the, in any of the versions here uh time tracking so if we wanted to actually enter time into the system for employees that work or our time and bill clients within the system we can do so or we can track the time outside and then enter that time either into the invoice as billing or into um uh the the time for payroll uh so uh, we can track the inventory so again quickbooks pro has the inventory tracking ability so we so for basic type of inventory tracking we have that within uh, the quickbooks pro if we have some advanced inventories uh, that we need to track a lot of differentiation in inventory perhaps or just a lot of inventory then we would need possibly to move to a, a higher uh, enterprise system uh, list limits uh, how many lists items we can have 
pay 1099 contractors. So those are going to be things that uh, we have to pay at the end of the year or report that we paid contractors with the forms 1099. And again, those are things that can be generated in uh, the pro package. Things that are not in pro. So these are the things that we would, we would want to consider if we want these items to advance to premier or enterprise. Uh, forecasting options. So if we want advanced forecasting into the future, uh, industry specific features. So if we want to have some more kind of customizations between industries, possibly if we're like a, a larger construction company that needs more uh, industry specific for uh, job costing and estimates and things like that, or if we want specifics by regions or things like that, then we may need to, to advance if our inventory is complicated and we want more inventory tracking features. Those are types of things typically like a job cost system or just a large amount of transactions uh, uh, or some type of advanced uh, inventory tracking items or when we would typically need to go to Premier Enterprise possibly. Uh, mobile inventory barcode. So if we want to do some barcoding uh, type of information with the mobile apps, then that would be here. Uh, priority cycle, enhance pick, uh, pick, pack, and ship items. If we need to uh, worry, uh, deal with that, that's going to be in the enterprise. Multiple users. The Pro has three users versus Premier 5, Enterprise 30. Uh, when, whenever we think about something like uh, support or payroll, QuickBooks will typically add more to that. So if we want to have uh, any of these plus, then we can add this option of, of upgrading and get some of the data support and uh, for that. So we can actually call QuickBooks and have support. Uh, it's often useful to actually call uh, if you need support, unless it's just technical support, which QuickBooks is pretty good at. Uh, if you need how to use something or how to enter transactions, then you might want to call uh, an accountant in order, in order to figure those types of uh, problems out. The technical problems are something QuickBooks will be able to help with. If you have problems in terms of how do I uh, enter some data, <laughs> then you probably want to go to an accountant to figure that out. Uh, the pay the employees feature, there's different options. That's going to be like a discussion in and of itself in terms of what types of options do we want to use to, to pay employees. And so whether we use Premier uh, Pro uh, and then in, uh, Enterprise is going to have some customization in terms of that. We'll have to think about how we're going to uh, be tracking payroll and how we want to enter that. And then remote hosting, again, something you can you can take a look at that would allow you to basically uh, work on your QuickBooks file desktop version from multiple different locations, possibly uh, with that hosting option. In summary, then QuickBooks Pro is probably the uh, package that most users are going to use, especially new users or small to mid sized users. Also note that it is possible to upgrade to to Premier and Enterprise. It's less, it's a little bit more difficult to go from, say, a desktop version to a online version. These are all desktop versions. So upgrading within the desktop versions is, is easier than going from desktop to all online, although that is doable and QuickBooks really is trying to make that something uh, that's plausible. Once you go online, if you were to transfer your data from QuickBooks desktop to online, it's probably even a little bit more difficult from, to go online back to desktop because uh, that might be a little bit more difficult. So in any, in any case, if you're choosing the on-ground or desktop version, uh, it is possible to go from QuickBooks Pro and then think, well, do I need to advance to Premier or Enterprise and make those upgrades as needed? If you want to then go from QuickBooks desktop and think about transferring at some point to online version, a little bit more difficult, but uh, QuickBooks is trying to make that something that is doable and possible. If you want to start on QuickBooks Online and then and then thinking that you might uh, change to QuickBooks Desktop, possible, that's probably the most difficult transfer of data from the online to the desktop. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.